collectors player pc collector here with the 2013 top series 2 now this is a long awaited and long anticipated uh product we uh, we started seeing them in targets last week coming out in um the blaster well, not the blaster but like the rack boxes and the rack packs but it wasn't until this week today is the 25th of june that we actually started seeing the blaster boxes, the traditional blaster boxes at Walmart. So what we're going to do for you here is a bit of an extravaganza, more than what we usually do. We're going to open up the blaster box as with the normal statistics and stuff on the on the side, and then we're going to go to bonus footage in the back of the video to, to show you what we've got in these other things. So we've got uh, 272 total cards to uh, reveal to you um, during the course of this video. Let's get opening. All right, so here we go. Thank goodness for time lapse because that box opening is getting a little ugly there for a second, but that's okay. We've got our first uh, blue parallel. Remember, this is a Walmart blaster box, so uh, you're gonna get the blue parallels, actually two per box. Here's our somewhat misleading 1972 Topps Minis, as we mentioned in the first uh, Series 1. There was no such thing as 72 Topps Minis, but uh, for all int our intents and purposes this year there are, with Dylan Bundy. And the other blue. Fighting me this time. Fighting me. So we've got uh, Brett Jackson. A million dollar chase card. Now this was disappointing. I did this the other day. I never really paid much attention to these things. And I found out it's like a beat the streak kind of game like uh, MLB.com does with the uh, with Dunkin' Donuts. Here is the World Baseball Classic. One in eight. Anthony Rizzo. Major League Baseball desperately wants that World Baseball Classic to succeed. And our two blues. So the last video that we had, did, had done was the opening day box, and since then, Topps has come out with a bunch of stuff. Bowman, most uh, notably. Gypsy Queen. Here's Chasing History, yeah, and these these are one and four, and you may uh, have found out that there's three different versions of the Chasing History cards. This is the plain uh, looking one. There's two foil versions as well, a silver foil and a gold foil. Uh, here's an advertisement for 2013 Major League Baseball chips. I can't imagine too many people are excited about that, but maybe Topps knows something we don't. tight on these packs this time around. Here is a, a green, an emerald, one in six, Sergio Santos, along with the two Walmarts. So in the Series 2, there are SPs, what doesn't have SPs these days. Um, and the Series 2 actually has SPs for Series 1 cards, which is a little unusual. Here's our second 72 Mini 1 and 4 of Cole Hamels. So anyhow, between uh, Series 1 and Series 2, there are sunglass and signing autograph SP variations, as well as a variation of Big Poppy during his Boston Strong 
speech where he dropped a four-letter word that he probably shouldn't have dropped, but he can get away with it because he's Big Poppy. One blue at the end. Here's our making their mark. And we're looking at... Uh, oh, I'm not sure on this one. I'll have to get back to you on that one. Followed by a chase it down. And the chase it down is a one and eight. Cool hose. And speaking of Big Poppy. So I don't think you're going to be seeing too many uh, of those SPs. That's a mostly a hobby deal when you buy the hobby boxes, the HDA jumbos or what have you. Another chasing history of this one's Mike Schmidt. Michael Bourne, taken in during spring training. And here's the pool host I just got before, the blue version of it, along with Tyler Flowers. A little indentation on some of these cards at the top. I'm not sure if it's my manhandling the packs or just a uh, packaging flaw on Topps' part. Ben Revere and the Raiders. Another chase card. Here's a cut to the chase of Koufax. So that's a 1 in 12. That's a nice one to get. I got Craig Gentry and Craig Gentry. Looks like there's a that's a pattern too. Either in the same pack or in the subsequent pack you see the, the blue variation pop up. I opened up a pack of Bowman yesterday, one of those three pack rack pack things, and got three different versions of Jeter in each of the uh, between the three packs. Just the Turner. There's another 72 mini of Mattingly. There's the same thing, Josh Hamilton and Josh Hamilton, same pack. All right, last regular pack before we get to the long-awaited and anticipated relic card, which is not a relic, it's a manufactured relic. We've got the green, one and four, no, excuse me, one and six, emerald. And then we've got another world classic card of Adrian Gonzalez. Brett Myers and Brett Myers. Hey, like I said, there's a pattern. All right, drum roll, please. Let's see what the uh, patch card ends up being. Now, there's two versions. There's a, uh, a patch card of current players, and there's a commemorative card of older players with older tops cards. And it looks like we've got the current player one. We've got an Evan Longoria. These are good-looking cards, no question about it. All right, we'll be back first with our bonus footage. All right, so here's our bonus coverage. The first thing we're going to do is a rack box. This is a, a target rack box, so you're going to see the red variation cards inside. And in a moment, magically, you're going to see the uh, pack for us to open. All right, you just have to take our word that magically these cards are not going to appear. We're not going to slip any uh, $1,000 sign cards inside the pack. All right, here we go. 72 cards to get through. You can see them for yourself. I'm definitely gonna get some doubles between this uh, box and the box that I just opened. I'm gonna try to put a set together. Here we go with the inserts. We got the World Baseball Classic Sandoval. We've got a Chasing History Gold Foil of David Wright. A Chasing History Gold Foil of Justin Verlander. Chasing History Gold Foil of Anthony Rizzo. Chasing History Gold Foil of Cliff Lee. Back to the base. Jose Fernandez, who I think is going to be a really good pitcher.
Big Poppy again. Pool Host again. Boy, a lot of these guys look familiar. Trout. Here we go with more inserts. Making their mark. Salvador Perez. Irvin Santana Emerald. Here's a regular Tim Lincecum chasing history. Followed by a 72 mini of Tulawitzki. Jonathan Papelbon is a little excited. Looks like it could be a uh, SP, but I don't think it is. Okay, that's the Target rack box. Let's go now to the Walmart rack box. And there you go. I just don't want to get... I want to get a complete set of the Series 2, so I'm looking for as many new faces as I possibly can get here. Alvarez, Kinsler. I saw that Trout card before. And Tulo. Here we go with a run of inserts. There's the Emerald. This is Willie Peralta. Chase card. Chasing history, Fred Lynn. Regular. Making their mark, Anthony Rizzo. DJ Upton. 72 Mini. Second Chance Vintage Giveaway. Okay. must be getting old. Some of these names are not familiar to me. I used to know everyone in the major leagues from top to bottom, and there is a couple of mystery guys in here that I've never heard of before. Maybe I need to play fantasy baseball again. Maybe that's what it is. some blues. Actually, I just realized I didn't. There's no, there are no reds in the uh, in those packs that we just opened. Here are the Walmart blues. David Wright, good for me, the Mets fan. Insert time. Chasing history. Dylan Bundy, guy's been in the major leagues for half a season and he's chasing history already. This is the gold foil version. Matt Holliday, same thing. Fred Lynn. Same thing. Mariano Rivera, same thing. Cut to the chase of Strasburg. Joey Votto, World Baseball Classic. Some base cards. All right, so we've got a rack pack from Target. Magically in a second. All right, here we go. Carl Crawford. Silver Chasing History, Matt Kane. Silver Chasing History, Gary Sheffield. Red Parallels Chase Card, 72 Brooks Robinson Mini. Regular Chasing History, Cliff Lee. Making their mark, Hugh Darvish. And a few more base. security card. One more pack. How about that for a magic trick? Here we go. Another Papelbon. K. 
Ken Griffey, regular, chasing history. Cut to the chase, Strasburg. Didn't I just get him? Juan Pierre, Buckholz, Myers, and Iglesias. All right, we'll be back with the big hit breakdown for the blaster box in a minute. All right, we're back with the big hit breakdown. We're starting off with the 72 Tops minis. We have Dylan Bundy, Don Mattingly, and Cole Hamels. Two Emerald cards from north of the border. These are one in six as far as retail goes. We have uh, Adam Lind and Sergio Santos. Next is Making Their Mark. We have Manny Machado, the young slugger of the Baltimore Orioles. Chasing History with Robinson Cano of the Yankees and Mike Schmidt of the Phillies. World Baseball Classic Stars, Anthony Rizzo of the Cubs representing Italy and Adrian Gonzalez of the Dodgers representing Mexico. Chase It Down, one of eight with Mike Moustakis of the Kansas City Royals. Cut to the Chase, Die Cut, Sandy Koufax. And the manufactured relic card, Evan Longoria of the Tampa Bay Rays. All right, I want to send a shout out to my friends at TradingCardDB.com. It's the place to go if you want to see visual checklists of sets from the early 1900s all the way to 2013. It's a good place if you want to check and see variations and whatnot. It's really going to be a clearinghouse for uh, pictures to go along with the checklists. And if anybody has any comments, if you'd like us to maybe do a video of your own box at some point, drop us an email. Drop us an email at dsositka at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe to us. We're trying to do the best baseball card box break videos out there. And hopefully you like what you saw this time around. See you next time.